all right squad welcome back to the channel we have another new map with season one that being the pines today we're going to make plant spots for that map and now if you've played this map is start to destroy you're probably going to assume that the spots are not going to be amazing for this map in which case you would be right i do have a few that are definitely worth noting for and i have a couple that are much further away from the bomb site than you're probably expecting so i hope they help i hope you enjoy the video leave a like if you do if you're new to the channel as well do not want to miss any future episodes of this series or any other of my search and destroy videos alongside my rush route series which be sure to subscribe and join the squad as well as check out my buddy lunchtime linked in the description he is doing nade spots on all the maps in this game he just posted nade spots on raid yesterday so if you want to see the nade spots for raid it is linked in the description go check it out with that with that being said though let's hop into the video all right, so a bomb site on this map is well enclosed to say the least but i did find a couple things that are worth noting now how amazing uh, like protected they are not really but if you're in like a 1v1 1v2 situation these spots could come in handy especially in a 1v1 this could help out a lot so starting off with a first thing you can do one of those spots to just kind of see the bomb you can actually you crouch under here you can see through the little holes of the shelf and see inside the a bomb so if you know somebody's head glitching in there you can pick them off with the sniper you can chill here just kind of pick them off you can cover the bomb that way as well if you plan on that side you can kind of use this as just a nice strong head glitch another spot that you can do is if you want to plant the bomb right here onto this edge now i'm not going to plant it because you can't see it period if they if they crouch or like go prone you they, they will get a chance to defuse but you're in like a 1v1 situation this angle is going to be really strong and you'll see the enemies come to the bomb either way as long as you're aiming at it so you'll be good but if you run all the way back and you hit right here you'll see them if they go for the bomb right there just right on the edge of that box if you plant it right there you'll see them on the edge if they're standing up all the way and you have a sniper you can murder them if you have a rifle i wouldn't recommend shooting here i'd recommend just kind of pushing up and then killing them but uh very good spot especially for like a 1v1 situation now one more spot that i'm going to show you that is 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 on the fancy side but it, it is still you're kind of out in the open but no one's going to expect you to watch the bomb from here so make of that what you will but you can actually see the bomb in between right here if you're over there so you plant the bomb if you line it up right on this side drop it down you can see the bomb in between the mannequin and the pole come over here see right in between into the bomb site so run for it you'll kill him you can also pop up here if you wanted to and hit the edge of it right there if you just stand on the edge of this you can see inside the bomb site and you could challenge for the bomb site if you wanted to as well and you can just come up here and use this as a straight up heglitch as well to watch the bomb from as well. So that is about it for A. Those are the spots I was able to find for it. Honestly, I'm surprised I was able to find any that go outside of the building because of how enclosed it was. But I'm happy I found at least a couple spots, whether they're amazing or not. They'll definitely be helpful in at least like a 1v1, 1v2 situation. Maybe not spots you want to use all the time if there's a bunch of enemies alive. But definitely can be helpful, especially this right here. A good spot to challenge somebody, honestly. You have a sniper. Easy shot. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to B. All right, next up we have B, which is of course very enclosed, but there are a couple places you can watch the bomb from. If you want to plant it on the far right edge, you can run back and sit here on this head glitch and cover it. You can also come back here and cover it this way, and you can even lay down as well and chill and see it as well if you want to get covered this way. There are a few spots. Continuing over to the other side, you can plant the bomb on this far right corner. And then you can watch it all the way back over here in this corner, this deep corner that no one really is going to expect you to be. If you hug it on this side, you can watch this area and that area. This side, left and right, you can kind of see the bomb right there as well. Deep corner. You're definitely in the open there. Multiple enemies peek it. You, you might not survive because of, because of health, but a couple people alive. Easy way to kill it. Get a kill and then run away and get a different shot. So... Moving on, I got one more spot for you that I really wish I had a friend on to help me show you guys this, but yeah, you can see it over there. So if you plant the bomb and you plant it on this left corner, you can see the left corner in the in, in the shot. So that, that's what I'm going to use my indicator for you. But if you run all the way out to the bus or the van, I guess, up on top of it, 
and you can see the bomb. There's that left corner right there. You'd be planting the bomb right where that left corner is. And you can pick off an enemy right there. If you have a rifle, you'd see the name tag. You might be able to get the kill too, but I recommend doing this if you have a sniper and you get the kill as well. So that is probably the best spot on this map, hands down. You plant it right here. No one is going to expect you to be out there. Literally nobody is going to expect you to be all the way back out there. Keep in mind, though, if you do peek this, so it does look like you have a decent view from the inside of you being right there. So when you do plant that spot, I recommend, I recommend you come over the back and you can kind of just lay under it and chill around the back of it and then just kind of hop up every once in a while, peek it, hop back down, just for the sake of just trying to trying to make sure no enemies see you from the inside because there is a chance they will see you when they go to actually pick up the bomb they might see you right there because it does look like it, it, it does like you have a better view of the outside from the inside than you do from the outside to the inside so yeah but anyways that is it for plant spots for pines that's all i've got for you i know there's not a whole lot nothing really that amazing but this is a very enclosed map so i'm happy i was able, able to find a couple decent spots so i hope to help you learn the map more this map has been pretty fun for search and destroy in my opinion so far i've been having a lot of fun rushing out i gonna have a rush out video out for it soon thank you guys for watching i will catch you all in the next one drop a like subscribe go check out lunchtime seek and destroy it's been